brothers and sisters, we are the Hebrew Israelites. Today we're bringing out a prophecy concerning the world current event, uh, Bible prophecies, what's going on in Puerto Rico, and toward the planet Earth. Today we topic we got to be discussing what's going on in Puerto Rico, showing you it's part of the low side punishment and the destruction that God is going to bring on the earth in the last days. Okay? We, we're going to bring out prophecy concerning the downfall of this empire, the prophecy concerning what's going on in Puerto Rico, shows you the prophecy that America don't give a damn about Puerto Rico. And, and so forth and so on. Right, like you see, you see Donald Trump, you're not making any hardcore effort to bring fun, funds, relief, gasoline, water, food to Puerto Rico. You have the mayor of Puerto Rico crying out, crying out that America is moving slow to relieve Puerto Rico of the disaster from Hurricane Maria. You see that now. You see, uh, you see a difference of treatment toward the so-called Puerto Ricans compared to the people in Texas and Florida. When you check out current events, you check out what's happening in Puerto Rico, it's a damn shame. But the most high is doing so let the Puerto Rican people know that white man, America, shows favoritism when it comes to so-called Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and people of the Caribbean compared to the so-called Europeans or US, so-called US citizens in this country. That's a wake-up call for a lot of you so-called Puerto Ricans to wake up. That's a wake-up call to show you that this country is not in favor of so-called blacks and Hispanics. And this country is against so-called blacks and Hispanics. Give me a gas in the Bible, 77, to show you a question. These are all signs that America is revealing our true spirit. And the so-called Europeans, the so-called white man and white woman, they are revealing their true spirit. And you so-called Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, you got to wake up. You so-called Spanish, you got to wake up. Because in America, you're nothing but what they call niggas in America. The same way they call the so-called black race, niggas, a lot of you Spanish, you're going to find you're a niggas as well. In the eyes of the so-called white people. You're going to find that you're nothing as well as far as the Chinese and the East Indians. You're going to find out that you're nothing as well as far as the so-called African. You're going to find out that you are the so-called black man's brothers and sisters. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7, the Bible. Surely oppression make it the wise man mad. The law said, the law said, surely oppression make it the wise man mad. So according to the Bible, you're supposed to be mad at what you see happening to your people in this country. According to the Bible, you're supposed to be mad when you get different treatment compared to the so-called Europeans in this country, whether you're in Puerto Rico or the islands. Lord said, surely oppression makes the wise man mad. When you check out, brother, you oppressed. You know you're oppressed, right? The so-called Hispanics, they're oppressed. So you're supposed to be mad. A lot of you don't care. You shrug your hands. I don't care. I don't care. But the Bible's going to judge you, man. You love your country. You got to love your people. You recognize it. You got to love the, your people, brother. You ain't doing nothing by yourself. You ain't going to go nowhere by yourself. Read it again. Surely oppression makes it the wise man mad. Lord says, surely oppression makes it the wise man mad. So a wise man, he's going to be mad. He's not going to be comfortable in America. He's not going to be comfortable in the lies and philosophies and the religions of America like this. Like the white Jesus. A wise man, he gonna be, a, he gonna be his mind going to be awake. Or he's going to be coherent to the lies and hypocrisy of this country. He's going to break free of a religion. The Lord said, surely oppression makes it the wise man mad. Come on. And a gift destroyed the heart. And a gift destroyed the heart. That gift is money. That gift is uh, prestigious positions in government. That gift is real estate. That gift is anything material-wise to put you in a better position over your people so you can sell them out. That gift is anything that puts you in a position where you are be America's puppet or the white man's puppet. One more time from the beginning. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression make it the wise man mad. And a gift destroyed the heart. And a gift destroyed the heart, the Lord said. First Corinthians 3 19. And a gift destroyed the heart. Did you know that? America has ways of persuading so called blacks and Hispanics to do wickedness, to abide in the spirit of Satan, to uplift America. These are all forms of a gift destroying the heart. Now it's time to wake up, come back to what the Bible is saying, to get this image out of your mind, to get this lie out of your spirit. Hold on, read it. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. And a man defiled the temple. Oh, first Corinthians 3, uh, uh, 19. 
Wisdom of this world? First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolish with God. You know what the Lord said? The Lord said the wisdom of this world, sir, is foolishness with God. You're going to find out that your wisdom that's uh, put in your mind by this world can't stop the earthquakes, can't stop the storms, can't stop the tidal waves and the floods. We saw that all two weeks ago. We saw that a week ago. Most High is showing his fury and his anger in these last days. And he's showing you that your, your, your carnal, fleshly wisdom is not going to stop the Most High's judgment. That's not going to save you in these last days. The wisdom of the Heavenly Father, that's what's going to save you. Go ahead. Read. Verse yeah. 3, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. The Lord said, The wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. Come on. But it is written. Taking the wise in the Lord's it is written where? In the Holy Bible. It is written where? In the Most High's judgment. And he taketh the wise in their craftiness. So the wise that are wise in this world, the wise who are wise in homosexuality, being a lesbian, the wise who are wise in the educational system, all things that's contrary to the Heavenly Father's word, all things that go against the Most High's word, the Most High said he, 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 he catches and destroyeth that craft and their wickedness. Catch them. Read that part again. But, but it is in Britain, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, meaning your own spirit. Things that are outside the Bible. The most high he does those things. Come on. But verse 20. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise. So the most high he knows the thoughts of the most high. The wise. The most high knows the thoughts of all people. Isaiah 33, verse 6. He knows the thoughts of all people. That's why the Most High is doing what he's doing. He's going to bring you back to what is his word. He's going he to make the world know that he's a true living God and that this is a lie. The white image of Jesus is a lie. You know that, sir? What you just said? You know that this is a lie? Yeah. He didn't look like that. He looked more, he looked more like Osama bin Laden than Kurt Cobain. He looked darker than the Middle East. He looked, he looked a lot darker than that. Yeah. The original people of the Middle East, were they, uh, were they, uh, they look like Kurt Cobain, like you said, or were they very, very dark? They look, they look like Middle Eastern. No, they look very darker than that, sir. Yeah. Understand? You mean like Sudanese? Moses, like, Moses passes an Egyptian. What color would that make Moses? Moses would be very dark. Well, the Jews are a Semitic people. You know, it only after they moved to like Europe and they started marrying with Europeans and the Gentiles and I mean, more raped by the Europeans. In most cases, conquered, land conquered, exactly. raped, and then exactly. this image is put up all throughout the world. No, I exactly know what you're talking about. You understand? Cleopatra is very fair skinned, they say. Who was a follower? Ptolemy. White man. You see? Ptolemy. Yeah, you understand? So she, she, you know, she wasn't even a real Egyptian. A lot of people don't know that. Where'd she come from? She, she her, her, her father was a white man, so called Greek. You know, it was something interesting about Cleopatra. They always thought about how beautiful she was, but they actually found out that she it wasn't was, so beautiful. It was a mistranslation. It said that she was interesting in appearance. Right. Meaning she probably wasn't attractive. Right, right, right. I've read that too. But now let me ask you a question. You had the, the situation with the storms, and you see, you see Puerto Rico, you see Texas, yeah. you see Florida. They're saying that uh, Mother Nature did that. You believe Mother Nature did that or God did that? For all I know, it could be it could be the harp facility. In oh boy, here got the harp thing. Yeah, it could right, be the so let me ask you a question on that because I guess yeah. that's I used, that's being to work for the government and shit, man. Like I don't anymore. I'm an actor now, right? But now, how do you know the difference between the harp program and, and what they call a natural disaster, which we we believe is an act of God? When you when you file when you when you file for uh, uh, insurance, maybe homeowners insurance or some form of insurance, don't they have in uh the writing act of God? Actually, that doesn't sound too far apart. Right. You, you, you read about, uh, uh, you can cash in if it's an act of God. Like some type of form of insurance or help or relief if it's an act of God. So, how do you know the difference between the heart program and an act of God? To answer your question, there is a saying that technology advanced enough, like, you know, based on, like, where we are, technology, at a certain point, when it's, I'm going to paraphrase, when it's so far advanced, you cannot distinguish technology from sorcery. From sorcery? But basically, like, sorcery, magic, right? technology from magic. So, like, if we go a thousand years ago, and 
and it's like when the Europeans came over and they had pistols. They thought that, that they were gods. They thought that because they thought they had help were able to control thunder with their hand. Right. But my question is, uh, how do you determine if something is an act of art or God? Where does God get the credit well, or like gets the, uh, 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 the recognition for, for the storms and the earthquakes I versus think, the heart program? I think it's, I think to answer that, we would have, I think it's, because I've been thinking about this, it's very telling if you think about the story of Babel. Right. Man was so, man, when he works together, so if you take it, Let's take it literally. Man, when we actually put aside our differences and right. work together, we can build a we can build a ladder to heaven. And God. But then in that story, they, they tried to build the ladder to heaven to outmaneuver God in case He tried to flood the earth again. It wasn't uh, based on any humanitarian efforts or or, or or biblical righteousness or heathenistic righteousness or false righteousness. It was they it was they, they tried to. Outmaneuver God by building a tower so tall that it could never be flooded out again. Let me just show you something in the scripture real quick. Read that. What is your guys' denomination? We don't. We believe in the Bible. Denominations. See, that's, that's another creation so, of man. So okay, no, I, I agree. It's like you go back to the Abraham. We believe that we had a, a, we believe that the people on the sign here. Come on, Oh, I didn't want to step on. No, no. We believe if you want to sign here, are God's chosen people. These are God's chosen people. We believe, and that the European people get so close to something. Who are the Europeans? The Europeans. They, they, all Europeans have a biblical nationality known as Esau or the Edomites. Everybody has a biblical nationality. So then, they're not, they're, they're not the real Jews. They're apostles. They claim a nationality that doesn't belong to. Them. So you're saying the Jews, the Jews are not God's chosen These people. Are, I'm saying the Jews are God's chosen people, but these are not the Jews. The so-called blacks, as well as the Hispanics, and North American Indians, the Seminole Indians, those are the true Jews when you read the Bible. These people are converts. They converted to they converted to what they call Judaism. I believe sometime in the 11th century. The first time, the Romans, right? But they fully converted to Judaism from the same point of view. Right. So these are nothing but converts. And you have scholars that wrote books on the issue. Uh, and a lot of people are being made aware to the fact that these are not the authentic biblical Jews. So, if, if like Europeans you know, taking this scene off the thought experiment, right? Right. They don't mention, it doesn't mention Asians, it doesn't mention oh. Europeans. That are Europeans, like again, Europeans are one nationality of people. So, that's why we say so, so called Europeans. There's no such thing as. Uh, Nationality-wise, as so they, your, where would they, where would they be? They wouldn't be. They're not on there. You have to, to be a Jew. You have to be a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which these people claim to be. They claim to be Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But now here's the thing: biblically, are they the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Drop that. Go to Isaiah one and seven. Are they the descendants? Oh, that's 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 what has to be researched in, in the history of this world. Has there ever been any uh? Done to prove that these people are the authentic Jews. Have they have you seen, have you seen a, a documentary or something on TV to establish that these are the real Jews? No, you have not. Biblically, they don't think this bad to Jews. I mean, people had to do research to what these things they can go back to school and go back to this, right? You have never seen that. And these people, they have so much money, so much money, they would, they would prevent that. Yeah, but wouldn't they, you're saying they converted, they didn't ethnically, they were not ethnic Jews. When we fell as a people, prior to us falling, we showed them the way of the Bible. And then when we fell, because God got mad at us, they clung to our, our history. They clung to our nationality, our history, and they claimed to be the greatest people on the earth, God's chosen people. But when you study, when you study, study history, and the Bible, they don't fit the description of the truth. Okay, read that. It's not going to be a problem. The Bible doesn't take about two, right? Said, in the year 65 BC, the Roman army under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian, his son, tied to put an end to the Jewish state. With great slaughter, during the period of the military governors of Palestine, 
made outrages and atrocities were committed against the residents of the people. Right. During the period from Pompey to Julius, so it had been estimated that over that. one million there Jews fled in into Africa. Free from there. Roman persecution, slavery. The slave market were full of black Jewish slaves. So we, we fled into various parts of Africa, but not just Africa, various parts of Europe. That's it. Here you got, in this description right here, you have Jews in captivity with the Egyptians. And this uh, picture says, notice how the Egyptians have on white garments, whereas we wore colorful garments. So you have one dark skinned nation oppressing another. And this is authentic. This is authentic. Here's another Jew. Uh, Look at the Afro on this guy. Well, I mean, the, the Jews, the Arabs are all Semitic peoples, and they have a common ancestor, right? The, 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 uh, the Arabs, are, yeah, they're Semitic. Yeah, because uh, the, sons of, the sons of Abraham, is it? Right. There's Ishmael and. Uh, you have, uh, you have, uh, Basically, you have Isaac, the, Isaac right? Came out of Abraham, and, and and each had a different mother. Mother was it uh, Ishmael? Hagar. His mother. Ishmael's mother was Hagar. Was illegitimate, right? But that's the that was that right. offspring. Uh, led to so who did the Lord choose out of Ishmael and Isaac? Right. And Isaac had Jacob and Esau, and out of those two children, the most I chose Jacob's. Which brings us back to this again. These people are not of Jacob's seed. They are of Esau's seed, which are all white people. Everybody has a biblical nationality, but today you call uh, uh, Italians, you call Russians, you call Germans. They dice it up. You know, they dice it up, right? But, but the thing is, like, what's interesting, if you actually look at history, like, we learn that, at least as I was taught in college, that things like race are a construct, right? If you go back far enough, when Romans were taken like everybody was slave, they're moving a lot of people around, right? So like it's right. very possible that you and I have a common ancestor, right? right? Not if not when God steps in. God is not gonna never let the Jews go on fire. Let me just read to you real quick. Look at that Isaiah 17. God had a, a prophecy, he had a program that was at what was gonna befall the Jews in the last days. Check it out, right? Isaiah 1 verse 7. Now because we were disobedient, the Lord punished us. And he put white, so-called white toe person, put Chinese, Indian, African. Well, I'm actually part native. Okay, it's not. Where is your father? Where is your father? My father. My father. My father. My father. Okay, what's ancestors. this matter? I have ancestors from Western Europe, but that's what I'm saying. Like, even though I have ancestors from Western Europe, but Irish people, right. they have, they prove it. And if there's linguistic evidence and other evidence, Irish people are the descendants of. Levantine people from like Lebanon, Iraq, they eventually migrated to Ireland. And then some people from the Basque, the Basque region, Basque people moved up to Ireland. So that's actually where the Irish are. Well, you, had some, you, had, you had some black people who were also raised by the Vikings. Who controlled uh, control Ireland at some point. So what's that? You had blacks who controlled Ireland at some point. Is that really happened? Well, yeah. Why do you think they call, what do they call Irish? They call the Irish the niggas of Europe. I've heard all that before. I've heard some of that. But what, um, what happened is um, the original people of Ireland were dark skinned. You're telling me I have dark, I have. No, I'm just saying the original people of Ireland were dark skinned people. When you read about the Celtics, you know the Celtics? The Celtics, you know, those are people that come to the Celtics. They're, they occupied Ireland. And then you got Ireland, you got Scotland. The people that was in Ireland, they were original dark skinned people. What happened, how white people occupied Ireland, they start going to come to do some of the Romans. That's how European took over Ireland from the blacks. Well, even so, the Vikings came Right, the Vikings, they were dark skinned people also. Right. Like, that's Vikings, why I look yeah. like this. Because, because I have ancestors who were like Vikings. Right. They, 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 well, they, they, the Vikings, they were.